is the review of the Voidlander 50mm f1.2 Nocturne Classic. Now this is a Voidlander flagship lens. With it being a flagship lens, it is very expensive. It carries a hefty price tag. Now with it carrying a hefty price tag, you can expect a lot from this lens. First, is it sharp? Of course it is sharp. Is it contrasty? Of course it is contrasty. But the main point of this lens is the bokeh. At f1.2, you are getting creamy bokehs everywhere. Backgrounds are blurry, are creamy. Normally what do you expect from a flagship lens? Now this lens, sadly, may not behave like your normal Nocturne Classic series because at f1.2, every other Nocturne Classic series tends to give me a little bit of a swirly background. This lens tends to give me quite a normal kind of background from a clinical lens standpoint. This is a Nocturne Classic lens. With it being Nocturne Classic, it carries a lot of those elements. With it being contrasty colours and very punchy images. Now one thing that I don't see that much from this lens is the Swole Bokeh, part and parcel of the Nocturne Classic series. With the other Nocturne Classic out there like the 40mm and the 35mm f1.4, they tend to give me a lot of Swole Bokeh. I don't find it that much in this lens, but it's fine. Now this is an art lens, it is not a clinical lens. So with that, that meant that there's vignetting, there's loss of brightness in the corners. And when you're using this lens on an APS-C camera like we did, you'll find that when you punch into the picture, you might see that the center may not be as contrasty as it were to be on a full frame. Now on a full frame, it performs really well. At f1.2, your background just blurs away on a full frame. In terms of focusing, it is really easy to focus with. It's really smooth. It's really precise, but it might be a bit slow for street shooters. This is slowly becoming one of my favorite lens. In terms of street shooting, this is fantastic to use. It's really easy to get sharp images even at f1.2. Albeit, you might have to slow down your photography speed and you might miss some shots, but it's fine. This is part and parcel of photography journey. Now, whenever I shoot this lens, I tend to use an ND filter with it because at f1.2, when you shoot outside in a bright daylight, you might find yourself unable to shoot at f1.2, your things are still overexposed. Now let's talk about the build quality of this lens. This lens is built like a tank. It has 12 aperture blade and the body is made of metal. I don't think you'll find any other lens that's more luxurious feeling than this. So as a conclusion, if you have the money, go ahead with this lens because I don't think you'll regret buying this lens. It is a flagship product anyway, so you expect a lot from this lens and I think that for most cases, for most people out there, you'll find that this lens met all your criteria. Now lastly, I want to thank our sponsor for today, PCP, for supporting us making this video. If you like more videos like this, please give us a like. And I'm Mervin, I'll see you in the next video.